Hello, good morning. How are you? We are now joined by Chase Elliott, driver of the number nine Napa Auto Parts Chevrolet for Junior Motorsports. He currently leads the NASCAR Nationwide Series point standings by 19 points over his teammate Regan Smith. Chase, coming into Talladega, this is, will be your first NASCAR Nationwide Series start here. Talk a little bit about practice yesterday and then kind of your expectations for the race tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I mean, practice was pretty straightforward. There wasn't a lot of uh, wasn't a lot of action going on. I think everybody's trying to be as conservative as they can and take as uh, few chances as they can to tear up a race car. So that's kind of the route that we took yesterday. And um, I feel like all three of our cars were, had plenty of speed in them, and hopefully we can just try to stay out of trouble tomorrow. All right, we'll go ahead and open for questions for Chase. Please state your name and affiliation. We will go ahead and start with Alan. Uh, Alan Cavana, NASCAR.com, uh, behind the cameras. But Chase, uh, you, you have got one, the Daytona under your belt. So do you come into another restrictor plate race with a lot of confidence, or do you still say, hey, I'm a rookie, I don't know much? Uh, no, I really don't know a whole lot about it. Um, I didn't do a very good job at Daytona, really being, being aggressive where I needed to and uh, taking advantage of the air and, and, and kind of especially watching the Cup guys and how they do that. So hopefully I learned a little bit at Daytona, and hopefully it'll be an improvement from there. At least I'll definitely be happy with that for sure. All right, go ahead. Hi, hey Chase. Mike Mahedden, FrontStretch.com. Can you elaborate a bit more on your dad's involvement and his input with you on a day-to-day -day basis and also at the track? I will. His input on a day-to-day basis is like any dad, really. Um, I think the, the best role he's – He's played, um, especially this year, is just being a dad, and I think that's all you can ask for. So he's, um, you know, you got to have that balance, and I think he's done a good job there. All right, we'll come on to Bob, and then Stan. Go ahead, Bob. Bob Parker, Sporting News. Would you consider kind of Daytona maybe your, like the one race this year where you kind of really felt maybe a little bit out to lunch, and kind of what did you learn at that race? Um, well, I think there was a lot of things to learn from that race. You know, that was, uh, you know, there's obviously a lot of a lot of spotlight that surrounds Daytona every year so that was just a different feel I feel like in itself so kind of now that the season's gotten rolling a little bit I, I feel like it's um it's definitely a little bit better you know it's just not as not, not as big of a spotlight as it was at the beginning of the year so um I think it's good to kind of have things rolling now and just to be kind of through the beginning stages of the year I think is the biggest thing just kind of has a little bit of a different feel to it and uh, definitely as far as the racing side I feel like I learned a lot of Daytona this year that I hope Hope helps us out tomorrow, which we'll I have to see. All right, go to Sam. You can't see me, I'm back here somewhere. <clears throat> um, Stan Creekmore with rpmtonight.com. Did you have any conversation though with your dad about what to expect here at, at Talladega? And does his success here how does that how do, how does that affect you if at all? I, I honestly haven't talked a lot about it at all. Um, you know things are things are pretty different, um, and he hasn't run a nationwide race here, I don't think. And if he has, it's been a little while. So um, you know, definitely got to be mindful of, of how much things have changed, and um, you know, there's definitely a lot of knowledge to take advantage of there that you have to ask questions, and um, you know, maybe come race day, I might do that. Just have to see how things go. All right, let's go back to Bob for another question. Uh, Bob Pockris, Sporting News. Have, do you have any special memories of Talladega coming here uh, with your dad? You know, honestly, I was pretty young uh, or not around whenever he did most of his racing here. But um, the, uh, the you know, past number of years when he was racing for the Wood Brothers, I do remember those trips over here. So that was, uh, other than that, I don't really remember a lot about it. But um, I do remember some of those trips he made with them. Uh, it kind of has that feel to it. Like I, you know, I'm going home tonight, and I come back tomorrow, so it's really close to home for us. Um, you know, really other than Atlanta, I feel like it's probably the closest. So, does does that kind of have that feel of being uh, being close to home for sure? All right, go ahead. Solomon Crunch, Alabama Media Group. Does the name Elliot carry an extra weight for you? And I mean, obviously, you've only had that name forever. But if I say being in this industry as your dad was so successful. Ah uh, no, it, it really doesn't. Um, you know the best the best way you can go about it, and, and I always always have and always will have a lot of respect for my dad and everything he's done. But I'm not him, and he's not me. And if I don't get the job done for myself, I'm not going to be around very long. So uh, that's the way I've always looked at it, and that's the way I'm going to continue to do so. All right, we'll go to Marty Smith and then to Jennifer. Go ahead. 
Marty Smith, ESPN. Congratulations on your success so far, bud. Thank you. What's it like going to school right now? <laughs> how how's it changed? Like, what are your buddies saying to you right now? I mean, honestly, it's really not any different for me. You know, I've uh, especially the the guys that are close to me and I've always hung out with. They've uh, they all know I've always raced. You know, ever since I've really been going to school where I do now. So they've always been aware of you know what I like to do on the weekends and. Uh, they've really always been supportive of it, so um, it's really, really not any different now than, than it ever has been. And uh, hopefully, have some come out and watch this weekend. It's being close to home, so they try to come out to, to a couple whenever they can. So I think this might be one of them. All right, Jenna, do you have a question? Jennifer, AP, Marty kind of totally stole my question, <laughs> but you. Gotcha. Um, do, do your friends come to races, or do people at school watch the races now because of you? Uh, I hope so. I mean, I hope, that, I hope that's the case. But definitely, the, like I said, my friends that are, I'm, I'm close with and I've always hung out with, uh, they've, they've tried to come to races over the past couple of years, and um, they've made it to a couple so far this year, and they might come out this weekend. So um, definitely the guys that I'm close with always have, and I've have, have always been supportive of it. And I'm hopefully, you know, I hope other people are interested in it now. I think that's, um, that's good, you know, if that's the case. And hopefully they'll come out to some races sometime. How's your popularity, and are you struggling for a prom date? <laughs> well, prom prom's gone, so I, I missed out on that one. But uh, but no, like I said, you know, like Marty said, you know, it's really not, not any different for me. And you know, everybody that I've gone to school with knows that I've been racing for ever since I've been going there. So um, yeah, that side's really been pretty straightforward. So the two wins didn't like push the level not really. I mean, you just kind of kept keep going about your own business and keep uh, trying to do what you love to do. Okay, we'll go back to Mike. Mike Neff from FrontStretch.com. Chase, your popularity is growing in leaps and bounds, and I've been to Gresham to see you run a super late model and seen the autograph lines you had even then. But I'm curious, with it just getting so out of control of late, do you miss being able to just go to the, the local track and run, and are you going to be able to, get, to still do that once the season's over and maybe run a snowball again? I, I, I always have, always loved short track racing, and I would love to do as much of it as I possibly can. Um, you know, I've always said I'd, I'll go racing. If I can logistically make it to a race and go run a late mile somewhere, I'm, I'm down to go um, anytime. So I would love to race as much as I can. You know, this year, the way things kind of panned out and being as busy and kind of being new at all this and, and whatnot, this year wasn't a good year to, to go try to, you know, run Friday night and then go run somewhere Saturday night. So um, I'd love to do that at some point. I think racing as much as possible is a good thing, especially, uh, you know, we have late model cars and stuff. I think it'd be good to go run. I don't foresee myself going back to the snowball this year. I uh, would love to go back at some point, um, maybe next year or the year after, but we'll have to see uh, how things go and got to make sure we have the right people before we go back. All right. Any final questions for Chase? Yeah, um, Michael Smith, WDNG. Um, 18 years old, you're leading nationwide in points right now. Can you talk a little bit about if you're feeling any pressure at this age, being a rookie, leading nationwide, is, uh, and kind of some of the experience that you're getting from some of the other teams, some of the other drivers, being so young and still leading in points? Yeah, well, you know, and I've said this in you know, the past few weeks, you know, leading the points right now is like having, you know, the best batting average on opening day. It's really... Uh, it's good and all, but it's kind of irrelevant because it's we're what week eight and then of 33. So um, you have to go about a week by week basis. You know, there's nothing you can't get caught up in it. You know, there's really no point in even looking at the point standings till you get, you know, till July or August in my opinion, because it really just doesn't matter. You know, you're going to go out each week and you're going to try to win the race. That's everybody's goal. Um, you hope you can achieve that each week, and um, we're going to give it our best effort to do so. And, the, you know, if you can go do that and do it to the best of your ability, the points are going to figure themselves out, and there's really nothing you can do about it. So you have to kind of go about your own business and see where things end up. All right. Any final questions for Chase? All right. Thank you for your time today, and best right. of luck this weekend. Thank you.